Yo guys, what's up? It's Alex from Jim G Studio. Today we will talk about security. A few years ago, a few friends and I made a competitive mobile game and many people played it. The thing with competitive mobile games is that you don't want players to cheat. In the games we made, which are single players and just like card games without monetization, it doesn't really matter to be honest. Well, yes, you can say to your friends that your high score is 900 on Pun Jump, but nobody really cares. Emotional, damn it! But hacking should be a challenge, so I will tell you how you can make your player perfs more secure. But first, I wanted to say thank you guys. Our YouTube channel is skyrocketing. Over 300 people have already subscribed to our YouTube channel. Our next milestone are 500 subscribers. If we reach 500 subscribers, we will make a new special and often requested series for you. So smash that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with our amazing content. But now, let's start and annoy some hackers. If you want to understand the basics of player perfs, watch our other video. I will put a link in the description. We won't cover the basics here because I think most of you already know how player perfs work. So let's look at the problem. Player perfs are not encrypted and it's easy to access and change them. Imagine you are making a game with coins and the player gets one coin every day and you store them in the player perfs. You probably would do something like this. Player perfs dot set int player coins and the value. And this might be a good idea at first, but it's pretty easy to change the player perfs. So hackers could just change the value of a player coins and you wouldn't even know. This means that it could break your whole monetization and that's not good. Now let's make it a bit harder and use a checksum. But just a quick disclaimer, if you need real security, this is not enough. There is so much more that we have to do. This is just a quick win. If you want to see more about those security tips with Unity, let us know in the comments. I made a quick example in Unity. In the logs you can see that the player has 20 coins. I gave him the 20 coins. And now let's look at the code. It's actually pretty simple. We set the player prefs for the coins to 20 and now there's a hacker coming and he's setting the player prefs for coins to 99999. And he's overwriting our value but we actually want to give the player 20 coins. Now let's take a look at Unity. Let's run it. Yes, and you see the player got 99999 coins. So let's make it a bit harder for the hacker. Let's look at this example. I found it on a blog and I will link the blog in the description. I had to make some changes. We have a private string with secret and a private list of properties which we use to store the player perfs. Then we have in the initializer the secret and the properties and we store the secret and we add all properties to our list and we will call the save method. When we have a private void, generate checksum. In the generate checksum, we have a string hash, which is actually empty, and we will go through every property and we will add the property plus the value of the property so we can create a checksum. And we just create an MD5 sum of it. The MD5 sum is basically just some black magic. I can explain it, but I think it would go too far for this video. If you are interested, I can make a separate video. Just let us know in the comments and I will explain it to you. But now let's continue. In the save method, we just generate the checksum and we will store the generated checksum in the player prefs. And last but not least, the public bool has been edited. We check if there is a key with a checksum plus our secret and if not, we will return true because somebody messed up with our player perhaps and we know someone is trying to cheat. And if there is a key, we will get the checksum which we saved and we will generate a new checksum which we know will be the right checksum. And if they are not equal, we know someone edited our player perhaps and we will return true. And now let me show you how to use it. There's a variable app of the type secure player prefs and we have to initialize it with new secure player prefs, which takes the secret, which is my game, and the parameters, which is coin. And we are setting the player prefs with playerpref.setInt coins and the value is 20. 
and we have to call app.save and then we are checking for cheating. If the app has been edited, oh, there's a cheater, we got them, and if not, it's a good player. So let's look. And as you can see in the logs, it looks fine. There's a good player. And now we are trying to cheat. There's a hacker and he changes the player prefs to 99999. And let's see what happens. And now let's see and as expected, we know that somebody is trying to cheat on our game. And this is it guys. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, smash the like button. And I hope the video was helpful. See you in the next video. Like the video if you liked the video, dislike the video if you disliked the video, subscribe if you want to be notified on our future content. We are also on Instagram and Facebook. Feel free to follow us there as well. And have a great day. Start creating, stop consuming.